video demo, we'll take a look at the green screen uh, chroma key capabilities built into Premier Elements. Uh, I need to give some credit to this young man, um, user Jet Powers off of YouTube, a young kid actually, whom I learned this technique off of. Thanks, kid. Did a great job. So, uh, what we're going to be able to do here is mix in uh, with our own video clip that we've taken uh, the green screen effect using other uh, either solid images or even other video clips. So uh, I'm going to start with some video that I captured through the webcam here. I actually used the Get Media and used the webcam. It didn't produce the highest quality video, but I was able to gather some uh, footage in here. So let me just drag it in. I'll just drag it in as video one. Fix quality problems in clips? Sure, why not? All right, so I'm going to drag that in as video number one. Um, now, this could be if you took your own uh, picture, or in this case, this is a bit of claymation. I'm going to put that in as number two. Um, so if you did uh, any kind of solid color background, doesn't matter what kind it is, you can use just paper. Remember to uh, do the back, but also let the paper roll down onto the student's desk or on the ground underneath so it gets underneath the object you want to uh, green screen as well. And so whether it's an image or whether it's a video clip, it doesn't really matter. We'll demo both here. Um, so we've got a second picture in here. Now we're going to go to the edit and we're going to look for effects and we're going to just start typing in chroma. So here's the chroma key effect and I'm just going to drag it on top of this second uh, clip this picture. Now it doesn't look like how I want it to look, so I'm going to go Edit Effects. Alright, so I'm going to take the dropper and this is going to select the color that I want to be blotted out. It does a pretty good job, but it doesn't get it all out because it's really difficult even in your own classroom to get a 100% solid color. Um, now, so what I'm going to do is mess around with the similarity piece here. Uh, or even the blend, you can play around with the blend a little bit and uh, similarity and drag it till most of it is good. Um, so we can hit done at this point. Now let's say I wanted this egg part out, or I just wanted part of my picture in here. Uh, this young user also showed me another neat technique called crop and what you're able to do. I'm going to drag that on top of the clip once again and I'm going to edit that effect. I'll just go below my chroma key, go to the crop, and you can say whether you want to crop how much from the left, the right, the top, the bottom. So I've got a little bit from the bottom too much, so I'm just going to undo that until I get all of it in there. And I actually want to do more from the right. You can see as I drag this slider that egg's going away. Get right before the beak there. Same thing with the top. We'll get right down to the head, and we'll get right to the tail. And as we do that and hit done, then uh, the green screen effect is even better. So now as I play my clip, see what it looks like. Alright, uh, not the highest quality of content there, but you get the idea. So let's try this with another clip here. Um, what you can also do is something in PowerPoint, get something, a piece of clip art or a picture or something that has uh, um, you know, uh, any kind of solid background in it. I put green here, but it doesn't have to be green. Now here's another nifty feature built into uh, Premier Elements. Watch what happens. Uh, it contains solid, it notices that this clip that I'm putting in has solid backgrounds. Do you want to apply video merge on this clip? So if I say yes, it will just automatically delete that solid background. So the video merge, I probably could have done that with this uh, other chicken clip as well. It does the exact same thing. And so um, you can have that green screen effect with um, just using the video merge. But if you need to do it manually, you know how, using the, uh, the chroma key feature. And finally, you can apply this to video clips as well. And it notices that there is a solid background in this clip, and I'm going to say yes, I want to apply the video merge. And what you'll see happen is I can even use this using the solid color background. So anyways, um, very easy to do 
uh, chroma key green screening um, not live but after the fact when you're editing you can remove solid color backgrounds from any number of clips and merge them together uh, for a really neat effect. Lots of opportunities to do this for historical events or having kids tell something from a certain point of view or retelling concepts that they've learned. Uh, all kinds of possibilities for that.